Welcome back, Bravehearts, to the Doc of Detox show. I'm Dr. Daryl Wolf, and today's show is No Sugar Coating with Leslie Rubinoff. Leslie is a certified nutritionist and a motivational speaker. Leslie is a Braveheart who empowers others to take back their power and is here today to talk more about nutrition, detox, and healing. So let's begin the show. Good day, Leslie. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I can't wait to get into this important conversation with you. Beautiful. Beautiful. So um, why do you do what you do? And let's talk about what you do and where's your passion? Where's your purpose? And what is it you want to accomplish? How's that? Sounds great. So um, I'm a certified holistic practitioner and nutritionist. um, And I took on the ability to specialize in gut health because that's the foundation, detoxification and female hormones and fertility. Um, And truthfully, I came into this because it encompasses everything that I am. It's my purpose, my passion. It's what I've been sent to do in this world is to educate people, to take their blinders off, to let them recognize that there is an alternative. There is one way of healing and that's holistically mind, body and soul. Um, and starting with the pathogens that we have in our body, um, the fungus, the parasites, as they are what I believe contribute to all illness. Um, when I was 15, I was diagnosed with PCOS. I was told you're never going to get pregnant. You're producing hormones like a man. And that's obviously very devastating to a child, as far as I'm concerned, at 15. And I never wanted to take on what they wanted to give me, the pills, the birth control pills, um, metformin. Um, and I knew I had to find a way to figure it out. And it led me into this path of doing what I'm doing and building a community to serve thousands of people. Well, it seems like you figured it out. Yes. But uh, uh, you're right. The bacteria, the fungus, the virus, you know what? But the reality is, is, is what we got to let our speaker, I mean, our audience know, as you know, is, is that your terrain decides everything. The, the, the fungus, the parasites, the viruses, they come there because they're the healing crew. They're the cleanup crew. So yeah, we got to work with them. We got to change the terrain, but we can't go in like the medical system wanted to do to you and declare war on these microbes because every microbe has a purpose and it's life-saving. And if we go out of alignment, then we will have some negative microbes there, but they're still trying to save us. Hundred percent, and I had to, I had to understand that, um, you know, toxicity loves hormones. It loves wrapping them up in in toxins and holding them hostage. And they're the only way to start to heal is to detox. And I love when people tell me, well, you know, you have a body with organs that are meant to detox. And I'm like, yeah, but not if they're polluted. Not if the environment is polluted and toxic. I needed to figure out how to do this. I've been plant based since I was twelve. Um, I never cared for, it grossed me out personally eating animals and flesh and having feathers in in, in my food, but I didn't know how to do it the right way. And I was definitely a vegan carboholic. So I was eating tons of sugar, tons of processed food, and I wasn't helping anything, but you live and you learn. And I'm grateful for understanding that and understanding that the first step of detoxification is opening up the channels of elimination. I was I, I, I ate so much dairy that when I went for an ultrasound, I was so impacted. They couldn't even see my bowels. I was impacted from the amount of dairy that I was eating. So, you know, I'm, I'm still quite young, but fortunately I was able to figure this out and I've been able to figure out this path and what I had to do to ultimately start that healing journey. And a lot of it was emotional stuff that targets that same area of abandonment, fear, um, and I had to, I had to learn that I had to do that. And that's why I'm so passionate alongside yourself with educating people. That's, that's the missing piece to all of this is education. Absolutely. Yeah. We got to put more emphasis on training than treating. And I like what you said earlier about, um, how, uh, detoxification is becoming more and more important. And the reality is, is you'll see there's actually, a um, there's a small, I think it's around 10 or 20 minutes, and it comes up every once in a while on the media. And it talks about how 
the body has so many detoxification organs like the skin, like the colon, like the liver, like the kidneys, okay, like the lungs. And uh, um, so what the medical system says is, hey, the whole body's a detoxification organ. Why do we have to detoxify? And you know what? We would never have to detoxify if the medical system would back off. For one thing, they're emergency care, but when you start using emergency care, and you get into their care and you keep on trying to do drugs or chemo, radiation, this is all toxic. But the reality is, is they don't wanna talk about detoxification. They don't wanna talk about diet either. And if you don't get your diet together, look at all the poisons that are in the foods. So the reality is yes, if we lived in an earth, if we lived on earth uh, and it was a planet where people really cared and loved each other and were not going to wrong each other, and we were eating fresh, alive, organic foods, and we wouldn't even have to use the word organic, then guess what? We wouldn't have to detoxify ever. You, I would be out of business. The doc of detox would be like, well, well, why go to him? My body does what it needs to do because we have a planet where everybody loves and cares for each other, and they're not just trying to make a buck off each other. So, you know. Well, and the fact that people think that having a bowel movement once every in a blue moon is, is okay is another problem. People don't recognize that when you're a baby, you come into this world, you're fed, you poo, you're fed, you poo. And people think going to the bathroom or depending on caffeine or coffee to have a bowel movement is completely normal. And I, like yourself, know that we need to have two to three bowel movements a day to just be eliminating basic waste from the system. That's before even looking at the lymphatic system. That's before even looking at the overload and the burden on, on um, the liver. But there's a reason why IBS is the most labeled handout from a doctor because they don't know what they're talking about and why thyroid conditions are so prevalent. Why is Synthroid and Armour the number one prescribed medication in this world? Why are so many people on that? If you're not looking at your food and you're not looking at the water you're drinking, and the products that you're putting on your skin, what are you doing? You got it. And, you know, people don't realize it, but, you know, blue light is knocking their thyroid out. And they also don't realize that they need to have a pure iodine in their diet every day. And if they don't have that, they're going to pay. And people are paying. You know, ever since they put bromide in the food and they took iodine out of the food back in 1974, thyroid problems went through the roof. Okay, also weight problems went through the roof, hormonal problems went through the roof, and then add, add the blue light, which is the most toxic, invisible thing that people don't realize because we all do it. We're doing it right now. I got blue lights here. I got uh, computers here, but you know what? I wear these as soon as my eyes feel a little irritated because Tesla glasses, you got to protect yourself today. And I don't care what anybody says. You've got to wear protection and you've got to love and care for yourself enough that you know what protection even looks like. What do you think? Of course. And that's another talking about protection. The things people put on their skin that they think they're protecting themselves from the sun is probably one of the leading causes of skin cancer is shitty sunscreen. It's, 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 you're, you're layering on chemicals to block vitamin D from penetrating the skin. I'm not saying go out to the sun and fry yourself because I don't believe that's safe. But I think the toxicity in what people are putting on their skin and blocking vitamin D from coming in amongst all the EMF exposure that we have no choice but to be exposed to, there's ways to protect yourself. I mean, your fulvic and your humic acid is something that's stable in my life for the last five years. Um, and I'm grateful for it because it changed my life. But there's also things like structured and hydrogen water that are amazing for our body that people are just not aware. They think drinking bottled water is okay. But I would love to go back and talk to you about your thoughts on sunscreen. My thoughts on sunscreen. Well, <clears throat> there's only one sunscreen that I use, and that's uh, C60 MCT oil. And that is the only sunscreen. That's coconut oil but it's MCT coconut oil, but it's got C60 in it. And we use Russian C60. We have a product that's called Beyond Beauty. And all you gotta do is do a little bit of it and you put that on. I mean, C60, it's 250 times stronger than vitamin C and it neutralizes free radicals faster than any other known product on the planet and nothing heals the skin faster. But as far as uh, uh, putting sunblocks on or any of the stuff that you get out in commercial land, um, it causes the skin cancer. It causes the lymph node problems. 
It is totally toxic and cancerous. You got to understand something. These guys are psycho liars. Okay. Everything on TV is a psycho liar. Okay. The government, the medical system, they're all in it. You know, God love the doctors and the nurses, but you know what? They're programmed. They're robotic, just like everyone else. I'm a robot, but I'm a robot for good. Because understand, if we understand the brain, we understand that the brain, your brain houses your beliefs. And if you run something long enough and strong enough, those prominent beliefs, whether they're for good or bad, are just going to run you every day. So you got the good, the bad, and the really ugly. And the reality is, I've worked, I've worked a long time to have um, unconditional love for myself and the world and for bringing up my vibration and only allowing the highest frequency of people, drink, food, everything around me. And you know what? Until we demand the best for ourselves, then we're just going to get the rest for ourselves. Okay, that's it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, people are pro so programmable. You know, I, I'm going to tell you something right now. The majority is never going to wake up. So just know that a they might wake up after this year. OK, this year is going to be the hardest year in the history of anybody that's alive. So they will wake up this year some, but the majority aren't going to wake up. They're just going to be shook up. They're going to be fearful. And guess what? And then they're going to have anxiety. Then they're going to dump adrenaline, cortisol into their body. And then they're going to be sick as a dog because we know that the invisible creates the physical. Otherwise, your emotions control everything. But guess what? Nobody is controlling their emotions. How 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 do you see the people in your life? How do you see the, the family, the friends? How do you see them right now? Listen, I've done a, a lot of work to cut out the toxic people from my life because I recognized that so early on. Um, and I created a space where I allow people who are on the same frequency as me. I don't argue with anybody about this anymore. I stop. There's, there's no point. I, I'm going to live my life in a way that's fulfilling for me that I think is healthy. You know, I did a water fast last week for five days and, and the amount of like noise people put on me for it. I was like, wait, but like, what do you know about autophagy? What do you know about anything but eating cows and pigs and McDonald's and you're telling me that I'm I'm harming myself by water fasting so I drown out that noise and I, I teach the same thing is get rid of the toxic toxic relationships your family is your family but it doesn't mean they have to be in your space and in your thoughts to control what you want to do with your life and I don't do that I'm one of six in my family and I'm the only one on this path they're all on their own path and I don't argue with them anymore because they're not going to see my side. And I know the side that they're coming from, which is the majority of what everybody else is coming from. And that's okay. They get to live their life and I get to live mine. So let's talk about you though now. Okay. Let's bring it back to you. So where do you live? What's your business called? And uh, um, let's talk about you a little bit. So I'm from Toronto. I live in Montreal, I'm Canadian. And um, I have my practice as the Holistic Health Genius. And I have a line uh, in the cannabis space that I came into the cannabis space because of everybody in my community was like, what CBD oil do you use? And at the time, four years ago, it wasn't really like that wasn't, I wasn't on that path. I was, I definitely smoked a lot of weed in my life, but I wasn't familiar even with what the endocannabinoid system right. was. I had I no it. clue. And, um, I, I decided that they're asking for it and anything that I'm going to come to market like yourself, the intention and the integrity is it's not the profit first. It's the sourcing. It's the quality. It's the, the creators who are with me. And we teamed up with Hemp Geniuses. There are 40 years in the business and we created this really powerful formula that was focused on the terpenes. So we have 60 medicinal terpenes in each product because the terpenes are the volatile compounds found in the sticky resins of the flowers of the plants. And they protect nature like they do. They're the immune system. They ward off the bacteria, the fungus, the predators, and they do the same thing in the human body. And each terpene has properties, hundreds of them. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I could give people the proper experience of cannabis. That doesn't mean you have to get 
high off your mind. You don't need to be eating edibles. I don't personally believe in the edibles because you lose about 90% of the medicinal um, benefits. And I wanted my community to trust me. So we did it. And we came to market with it. It's almost four years now. It's, I'm a small company, but I've made a huge impact and I've changed lives. I've seen people come off their antidepressants, come off their their anti-anxiety meds, their, their blood sugar medication, their blood pressure medication. There's so many women who were told they're not going to have children. And we've seen what we call the blend babies. And from that, we just continue to curate a line for pets. And um, I have a magnesium chloride product that's a bath lake that, you know, magnesium is needed for over 300 enzymatic mechanisms in the body. Every single cell requires magnesium. And we paired it with the terpenes and MSM, which helps build glutathione in the body and people love it. They soak in it and it's a great way to get it transdermal. Magnesium is the magic mineral that so many people are deficient in. And we've created a whole line of topicals and products for people to have for pain and for all kinds of ailments that everybody goes through. And my, my intention was to keep it clean. No pesticides, no molds, no chemicals, no, no preservatives. Everything's 100% natural. And listen, it's a, it's, it's a big market. It's a saturated market. Tons of people wanted to get involved because the word cannabis sprung huge interest in finance, financial gain for people. And unfortunately, people go and they have this negative experience when they buy a bottle for 30 bucks at the store down the street or at the gas station. They're like, it doesn't work. I'm like, but if you were using something that was quality, it's going to work. And I've become super passionate about educating people about the endocannabinoid system. Every single living species with a backbone has an endocannabinoid system. And endocannabinoid deficiency is a very real thing. And it's connected to so many diseases, including there's a lot of studies on fibromyalgia. This is, a, again, a label given to people who are suffering in chronic pain and they don't know why. And I mean, there's more to it than just the endocannabinoid system, but um, this is something that I'm passionate about and that I want to continue destigmatizing and educating people to understand that you don't have to be unwell, but you need to, you need to fuel that endocannabinoid system. And I know you understand that. I do. <clears throat> and uh, just so everybody knows, remember what I told you about the blue light. Okay. Blue light is responsible for knocking out the endocannabinoid system. And just get this. It's not like it's going to change. But when they made computers, when they made phones, okay, when they made the LED lighting, when they made the movie you go to, when they made all of the LED lighting in the malls and the offices, all of that knocks out the endocannabinoid system. And it's the main thing that's killing that system today within our bodies. And, the, and just know this, everybody, they didn't have to do it. So isn't it kind of funny that they can't get the poison out of the water that the technology that everybody's addicted to, and that's why so many people have brain burn and, that, and eye disorders are going through the roof. And the reason why eye disorders are going through the roof is because the brain's getting burnt out, the endocannabinoid system's getting burnt out. And this is why people are looking for CBD. They're looking for CBD because it's naturally occurring in the human body. And now the human body is getting um, raped of it. And I mean raped of it. Okay. It's called blue light poisoning. There are other things that knock it out, but guess what? You can't go anywhere without blue light. So the reality is, is you've lost a system that's going to help you with inflammation and pain in your body. And if that gets out of control, then we call it disease. We call it autoimmune disease where the body's attacking itself. But we all know that you were attacking yourself on an epigenetic level in emotionally first ever before physically, because who would choose to be in front of a computer all day, going on their phone all day and not looking how to protect themselves. And then I'm telling you right now, you people, you better do it. And you better listen to what she's saying, because I'll tell you, you cannot live without your endocannabinoid system. But the reality is it's being stolen from you. That's it. And not only is it being stolen, the, the thing is, like you said, the receptors get burnt out and it takes time once you start putting it into your body for that to come even back into play. And, you know, people who are going through chemotherapy who think they can just pop some Rick Simpson oil or some CBD to help them, it's not going to work. You can't poison and heal yourself at the same time. It's absolutely, it's impossible. It, it's it's so impossible. And, and the other interesting thing is that, you know, they're getting rid of 
gas cars and they're putting all of these electric cars. I mean, the EMFs that are coming with those cars are way worse, I think, than the gas that's coming out of, out of a vehicle. But that's what they want to do. And we know that EMFs disperse water in the body um, and it's, it's ruining plants, it's ruining vegetation, but everybody wants to be wireless. Everybody wants 5G technology. Nobody has, not nobody, but the majority of people have no clue. And as I learned about, you know, structured water and its ability to reharmonize the water molecules and create that coherency and that communication and the bioelectrical firing between cells, when our cells communicate, they can, they can be healthier, but as we block them with everything, they can't. So, you know, I know you're a big lover of structured water yourself, and it's something that I've, I'm newer to the concept and understanding of it, but what that's already doing for my body just in a short time of drinking that hydrogen structured water is amazing. And hydrogen, the smallest gas, the smallest gas on the periodic table is one of the most potent antioxidants. And as I have learned too, is that hydrogen is a donator of electrons. It has two electrons that can donate back. So as free radicals, um, you know, ruin our body, the, the hydrogen comes in and donates those two electrons to actually, again, realign and reharmonize and neutralize free radicals. And, you know, in the water that I'm drinking, 1.4 to 1.6 parts per million per liter, the antioxidant equivalent is 750 bananas, five bags of spinach and 35 large carrots. So even just now putting this back into my body is is, is, is whatever that's doing for me, I can tell a difference. And I can tell the way that even that I'm sweating while I'm drinking this water and, and dehydration is another huge problem. And how do you move toxins out of your body if you're completely dehydrated? Absolutely. But most people don't believe it. Most people you ask them, do you know, it's like, hey, how's your bowel move? Oh, good. How's your diet? Oh, good. Yeah, compared to what? Um, do you hydrate? Do you drink water? Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. But see, people don't understand that their bowel movements is a computer printout. You're supposed to have two to three printouts a day and what it's even supposed to be like. What we did, <clears throat> and if you want, I'll send you, um, I'll send you a copy. What we did is we actually created what was called uh, the Perfect Day Lifestyle Guide so that when people do a consult with us, they get this 250 page guide that they can actually read and go through and take a look at, you know, there's lots of things like, you know, uh, recipes and everything like that. But they can go in and take a look what a good bowel movement is for what age group. And they can take a look at what your skin should look like, what your nails should look like, what your eyes should look like, what your hair should look like. That you can tell what illness is, is uh, attached to what emotional problem. So the reality is, is everybody, you need to get it. What Leslie's talking about here today is, is that you've all been educated into ignorance. You, you know nothing about health, N not all of you, but the majority of the population, 92% of the population has an autoimmune disease, but they eat well and they poop well and they drink enough and they know what health is. So really, are we done yet? Okay, so the reality is, is we know that over 70% of the population in Canada has already gotten the V. OK, so how many people even took the time to research that? How many people know that the V had nothing to do with the C? So the reality is the reality is, is, you know, there is um, let me see. There is a shift that's going to hit the fan this this uh, fall. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. And I don't I never want to be the person that was like, I told you so, because that's just righteous. But like. You know, it, it's an argument. It's it's a it's a comment that somebody people ask me that, knowing me, knowing me, in my community. If if I'm gonna take the V for the C, and I was just like, how could you even ask me that? Like knowing everything that I stand for and everything that I do, why would I do that? So you're gonna tell me I can't travel? I'll come home and quarantine for two weeks. I'll stay at home, no problem. Yeah, like, but no the, problem. And I know. Gonna... I know, but the people with the V, okay, yeah, can't travel now. Mm -hmm. So that's. <laughs> So the, the reality is, and also understand as a Canadian, you don't have to lock down for two weeks when you travel. When I, I came know. through the airport of Toronto, I don't know if you watched my video. I came through and I did a video on it and I just said, look at my passport. It says I can travel freely in my own country. And I just walked out. I said, I'm not downloading your app and I'm going home. Did you have to take a, a test? No. 
No. No, no one bothered you? No. Well, they did bother me, but they didn't bother me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they can. They let them knock on my door and tell me I'm not home. <laughs> well, you know, you got to understand something. If you don't know your rights. Right. And that's what, so God love everybody, but people don't know their rights, just like they don't know what a healthy day looks like. You know, the reality is, is people actually think, you know, three meals, three snacks, you know, the, the Canadian food guide or the American food guide. Meanwhile, it's not a food guide. It's a poison guide. All right. Nobody should be putting dairy in their mouth at ever, 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 ever. You know, the dairy board 50 years ago was told that it was going to be taken off, okay, off of the food groups. And you know what they did? They just gave the U.S. and Canadian government multi-million dollars to shut up. I mean, you can pay anybody off. I mean, what's it going to yeah. take? What's it going to take for me to pay you off, Leslie? Zero. I have nothing to be paid off for. I know. So they'll probably they'll probably <laughs> want to kill me before they pay me off. But it. But that. But it's. You're right. And. You know, the book, I think, what's it called? The, a, a New America, the son of Baskin Robbins, who wrote the song, the song, the book about um, the dairy industry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and how he checked out from it and was like educating. People don't understand how harmful dairy is. I know people who are allergic to dairy and they want to go and find ways to be able to still eat dairy because they don't want to give it up. Because casein, casein lights up the brain like cocaine and they add casein into foods now because of the addictive properties of, of casein. It makes people addicted. And that's why people are like, oh, I can give up milk, but I can never not eat cheese. And I'm like, that's because you are being poisoned with casein, which is you know a protein found in dairy. But it, it's, it's, it's crazy. People, people don't care. And you know what? the less we eat, the healthy we are. It sounds crazy and I don't want to trigger anybody, but if you eat one solid meal of high vibration foods in a day and you drink proper water, you're going to live better. You're going to yeah, live. And if your goal is to live longer, fine, but you're going to live better while you're here. And what the heck, along the day, why don't you just put a little smile on your face, connect to your breath, put your shoulders back, your chin up and say, I love myself. Mm -hmm. Right. Why wouldn't you do that? 100%. Oh, wouldn't want to do that because then you'll definitely go to hell. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely go to hell. But it's listen, it's people are brainwashed. We don't learn what we have to learn. We learn what what's being told to us. Try and fight with a doctor about what gut health is and how that's the foundation of health. And they're all righteous because they've been trained by the pharmaceutical company. It's like it's such a battle between both sides, there's such a divide, but I, I'm really just focused on, on the side of those who are, who want to heal and want to get better and believe that one, you can change your mindset. And that's the first thing. And two, you can do the work. I listen, Daryl, if you said to me, Hey, Leslie, I want to lose 20 pounds. Can you go run on the treadmill for me? And, and my running is going to help you. It's the same thing. You, everybody has to do their own work. And what you about just mind, what about minding your own business? Just minding your own business for the first <laughs> time in your life. Focus on only what you want. Oh, yeah. That's not called being uh, self-centered. That's called being centered in the self. Because if you're not selfish enough to know what you need to be healthy, then you're never going to be there. Yeah. But yeah. I think, too, like it's important, like everyone goes through trauma and pain. We have that as a human. It's your right to have trauma and pain as it's handed off to you because somebody else hurt you. But to do the work, to do the healing is, is people don't want to do that. They don't want to go inwards and unpack their backpack. They rather carry around a hundred extra pounds of somebody else's stuff. And it's that manifests into disease. And I think a lot of thyroid stuff has a lot to do with the lack of being able to communicate and express yourself. And well, people are scared to speak up. Well, just no thyroid problems. You've been terrorizing yourself. So I yeah. get it. You've gotten beliefs that were given to you. But like you said, mm -hmm. the backpack, we got to empty the backpack, but then we got to start, start telling a different story. I don't know if you notice, but people that have diseases, they like to tell their war story to everyone, everyone. And that's it. The sicker the person is, the more they're attached to their story. I'm not telling you this person is bad. I'm telling you that their story and their dis-ease has actually captivated everything about their life. I mean, it is the most prominent thing in their life. What if you were to make the story of how you got sick and how you are sick, okay, 
minuscule that you couldn't even see it. And all your focus was on is everything I do today will be for love of self. I'm not going to do anything because I'm sick. I'm going to do things because I love myself. What if we did that? Yeah. And that's why I tell people, get up in the mirror, stand there stark naked and look at yourself and affirm yourself in the mirror every single morning. Be uncomfortable in that uncomfort to begin with. Let the emotional stuff come up. But if you can't look at yourself naked in a mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself and that you're wonderful, you, that, that's your first problem because that's the start of everything is the self-love and the self-discovery and the self-journey. And it and it's not easy to tell somebody that it's an easy journey. I would be lying to them because it's difficult. You have to revisit a lot of difficult things to be Absolutely. able to do it. And, and most people won't do it. They don't but, believe in themselves to do it. But Leslie, can we let them wear their underwear for the first week? I don't wear underwear, so. Oh, there. Can't. Okay. Game's <laughs> over. Okay. <laughs> You know, but yeah, it's true. People, they're, they're afraid of their own, their own healing and their own journey. And it, it's, it's so sad Then and then you walk into, listen, I think asking for help is, is a strength, but when you walk into an office where the person on the other side has a pen and a paper to give you antidepressants and, and anti-anxiety meds for not being able to cope, like how come people don't recognize that? Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. It's all programming, but you know what? We've been programmed to fear what's inside of us. And we've been told that we're going to find everything we want out here. Yeah. Convenience. Yeah. But convenience comes with a price. Yeah, it does. It does. So in, tell me yeah. what's up for you. What's, what's in your future? What's in my future? Honestly, I want to become a, a household name in everybody's home with, with products that don't make them toxic, that products that make them heal. But you know, when you have the government standing in the way telling you CBD is bad and I can't, they, they remove my link from my Instagram so people can't even find my page because it has the word, I don't even know, it doesn't even have the word cannabis in it and I can't get it back. So my mission is just to continue doing what I'm doing and to get onto platforms and interact with people like you and other amazing healers to spread this message. And you know, Clubhouse has been a fantastic platform for me. Um, because it allows me to have a voice to reach people I, I would never, ever reach. And, you know, I just want people to not wait till they get sick to get better. And I want people to, you know, take programs like yourself, consult with people like myself who can build out protocols for ultimate healing. And when I die, it's not about how much money was in my account. It's about how many lives have I impacted? How many people have I changed and woken up because they were ready to do the work? And that's what I want to be Johnson and Johnson, but the good Johnson and Johnson, the one that's not killing babies and, yeah. and causing cancer. That's what I want to do. And that, that's what I'm working on slowly is just to be, have consumable consumers, consumables that are safe for them, that are killing them. I think that's excellent. It. That's excellent. The average person's putting 200 chemicals on them before they walk out their house, mm -hmm. you know, and then just being an ambassador for, you know, the Dr. Detox too. I, I, I tell, I, I must tell a thousand people a day about fulvic and humic acid, that alone, just adding something like that, that alone, just to, to your life, feeling your endocannabinoid system, getting rid of sugar, like something so simple that's killing you, like protecting your immune system, all of those things, and just being an advocate for it. It's not easy to find a tribe in this space that people walk alongside with you until it's too late. And I just, I want to be known in the end that Leslie did something good for other people. So how do people get in touch with you? So the holistic health genius.com, um, the holistic health genius on Instagram, the holistic health genius dot store, the holistic bitch. That's where they can find me. That's what I branded myself as. And I like people to reach out. You don't have to reach out to buy anything, reach out to make a connection, to build a relationship because that's what it's about. You know, educating people. It's about, about coming impact. together, right? It's about coming together. Yeah. It's a community and that's, that's what it is. And, you know, yeah. as you move down to um, Mexico and hopefully I can come down there and maybe, you know, run retreats and do stuff where people just get the, the opportunity to heal. Oh, let me tell you something, Leslie. Um, this, um, I run this place. 
I mean, I don't mm-hmm. run the whole place. I run what goes on in the place. And yes, I'm I'm inviting you and I'm inviting every other practitioner that wants to come down and do a retreat. You will never do a, a more beautiful retreat uh, for the price you're going to pay and for the experiences people are going to have because we're going to make sure of that. I mean, when people come there, we're, we're going to be juicing all day long and they're going to pay a minimal fee to have organic juices, blender drinks of fresh fruit, avocado with uh, uh, vegetable sticks to put in there. Um, they're going to have, um, yeah, blender drinks of fresh fruit. They're going to have carrot juice, apple juice. We're going to have all kinds of drinks there. So the reality is, is what people don't get is if you're eating that stuff throughout the day, by the end of the day, you're going, I don't really know if I'm hungry. Well, no, because we're going to start not filling people because they don't need to be filled. Okay. They need to fill up their own heart. But what we're going to do is we're going to feed them to bring up their vibration so that they can just shine that beautiful light. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I just, I just, I did 147 days juicing into a five day juice fast. And when I came uh, into a five day water fast and I came off the water fast and my body didn't even want the juice anymore. It's like, you're so nourished at such a cellular level. So I moved into a smoothie a day and water and um, going back to another water fast because I feel so good. It, it's not easy, but I feel amazing when I do it. And obviously you need food to sustain yourself, but I'm just in this group right now and it feels wonderful. Beautiful. Yep. We are uh, uh, kicking off um, a, a two week prep on the 14th where people will do the perfect day. And then on the first, we're going to do a six day advanced water fast. Other people will be doing it. They've done it before. Mm-hmm. I mean, they can go longer than six or they can go one day. You know, people need to just go in there and uh, know that uh, they're rocking it no matter how much they do, even if they want to sit on the sidelines. Right. But the, the reality is stick your toe in the water's fine. Right, Leslie? Yeah. And it's not going to kill you drinking the water. And I just say never drink a naked glass of water. I was putting black salt in my water. Um, during that fast, I was still doing my infrared sauna every single day. It Beautiful. didn't work out every single day, but I worked out two of the five. And this time I'm going to work out throughout um, the entire fast, just just because I know that I can. Well, that's amazing. You're amazing. Beautiful. Well, thank you for joining me today. But what would you like to leave with everybody? I'd like to leave everybody with the fact that you have the capability to heal and not to wait till you're sick to get better prevent yourself from getting sick and whatever is lurking now, start taking care of it. And your diagnostic, your diagnosis from a doctor isn't your destination. It's not your end path. It's just the beginning to understand that you need to take care of yourself. And I'm okay with diagnostics. It's, I'm not okay with generally the protocol, because like you said, healthcare is for emergencies. You know, I get thrown out of a car, take me to the hospital, but um, it's for short term and we don't have a healthcare system. We have a sick care system and it needs to change things like what you do and what I do need to be the forefront of, of medicine because that's medicine. Healing is medicine. Well, whether people want to believe it or not, we are the leaders of the new world and uh, the new world is coming. It is coming because uh, um, out of chaos, OK, comes organization and it will. And, and the reality is, is, and please don't get me wrong, anybody, but uh, uh, those people that are asleep, you can't wake up a sleepwalker. And if you do, then they could bite you. So the reality is, is we're here to actually wake up the lions so they can find their roar. Right, Leslie? Well, let's roar because that's what's important. And you, you can't wake the dead either, right? So no. let's work on the people who are ready to wake up. Ready to live. Thank you, love. Yeah. Thank you. Leslie. Thank you. I appreciate you always. No, no. Yes. I appreciate you. And just let me know if there's anything we can do for you, okay? I will. Thank you so much. Keep okay. doing everything you do. Have a beautiful day, Leslie. Again, everyone, Leslie, where's the best way for them to get in touch with you? The Holistic Health Genius.com and the Holistic Health Genius on Instagram. Beautiful. Okay. You go ahead and you rock the East, and I'll take care of the West. Until six weeks, I'm going to be down in Extapa. We're going to be opening up a 220 condo resort. And well, it's already open, but we're going to be taking it over and we're going to make it into a worldwide healing training center for everybody to come down. Whether you want to come down with your family, you want to come down with your 
partner and learn how to get pregnant healthy and then have your partner learn how to do wolf non-surgical so you don't have any pain through the pregnancy and it's an easy pregnancy okay we do all kinds of trainings for families we teach people how to love and care for themselves and like i said do the wolf non-surgical and guess what uh september the 11th we have a 28 day course you can stay for 22 days that's 22 days of the main course, but then I'm asking people to stay six days longer. Well, I'll get together with them in the morning for two hours at the pool and we'll discuss things, business things and how to get your business going. And then at night, we're going to meet by the fire and we're going to talk about deeper things. What is your purpose? What is your passion? What is it you really want to talk about? What is it you want to do? So we have that six days that you can actually gel it all together please go to www.newworldpractitioner.com. And everybody, don't forget, we have the Super Sunburn Sale on, and it's everything healthy for beautiful skin, whether you're talking about your face or your skin or anywhere else, or if you've got a sunburn, how would you like to get rid of it? Not in four days, five days, keep the radiation from it, but actually pull it out with our products. I don't want to go into them, but if you look at them, you'll understand them. And just go take a look at the Super Sunburn Sale and you won't have one. We've got the best uh, suntan protection in this product line. And we also have the best for healing your skin, whether it's a sunburn, eczema, psoriasis or wrinkles or, you know, uh, uneven patches or anything like that. OK, um, also. Next week, I will be having um, on Monday. Uh, on Monday, I will be having Terry Mullins. He's the inventor of infinite iodine. Smallest molecule of iodine in the world. The only pure iodine. You can actually nebulize this and restore your lungs. You can put it in your eyes. You can do a vaginal infusion with it. But when you, nebul when you put the iodine in five sprays, and then it'll turn into iodide, then it'll go in and help to support your para parathyroid and thyroid. Or you can just use our iodide, and that just supports the hormone organs of the body. Okay, so that'll be Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then on Tuesday, we're going to answer all your questions. Why are we doing this? Because one minute to Monday, one minute to midnight on Monday, the sunburn sales over and we're going to kick in infinite iodine, iodine and iodide one ounce. It'll be 15% off because guess what? We did a sale three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I can't remember. And uh, um we had 5,000 bottles of infinite iodine and iodide. We sold out in 36 hours. So the reality is, is we're well stocked up and uh, um, we'll run the sale for one more week because we had, I won't tell you how many people because people won't even believe how many people wanted this. Because believe it or not, nascent iodine, Lugol's iodine, and all these other thyroid medications will not even come close to this. Infinite iodine is pico. That means 10,000 times smaller than nano. And it's the only pure iodine. OK, uh, that will be answering a live Q&A 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time Tuesday. So get all your questions together get and challenge the heck out of us, because that's the least you should do. And just know this, that if you want to create the perfect day, you might want to take a look on my website. Go to the top of the page and uh, um, click on perfect day consultation and see about getting someone to help you create your perfect day. And also, if you want to take any of our courses, go to www.newworldpractitioner.com. Hey, everybody. Have a beautiful day. And we'll see you on Monday. God bless. And no, Braveheart, you got this. So what is a New World Practitioner? Well, a New World Practitioner is somebody that understands that training comes before treatment. Have I noticed any changes in myself since taking this course? Oh yes, yes I have, <laughs> I definitely have. There's so much more ahead of you and there's so much more that you can find within yourself and there's so much that you can let go of to free yourself and I'm excited to be able to help others find their power. It's not a treatment, it's like a restoration. You can renew your body. And I didn't understand 
what was preventing me from healing. I guess this is where I kind of get emotional because Daryl truly cares, not only for himself, but humanity in general. And he wants to educate people to live their best lives and uh, learn to love themselves first before anybody else. The Whole Life Coach Certification, we go deeper in that eight days than anybody else goes when it comes to learning how the invisible creates the physical, the psychological creates the biological. And we teach you about energy medicine and about vibration and frequency because that's all it is. He really cares for everybody. He wants to educate as many people as he can, their own healers slash practitioners. He wants to get the knowledge out. Dr. Wolf and the whole crew, Sage and his bodywork techniques, learning it. Everybody here has just been so incredible. They're so supportive. It's been a really cool experience. I've seen nothing but incredible results um, day after day, hour by hour while they work on people who get finally the effect and result that they've looked for everywhere else and never got. So they're amazing, amazing. On a daily thing, I'm, being, I'm becoming more flexible and more pain-free. It's a process of treatments because of the damage I've done to my body, but yeah, I expect to be uh, doing backflips, you know? I'm 64 years old, I'll, I'll be doing backflips. When it comes to the Wolf non-surgical certification, nobody can pull fibroids apart or reverse joint, muscle, tendon, ligament problems or scar tissue from surgery quicker than we can. And we offer a money back guarantee to all our patients. Now, why would we do that? Because we pull off the I am possible and we reverse the irreversible. They're so professional, yet so fun. They know how to push you to your limit. They encourage you so it's a whole positive training and really and every one of them has a piece that they offer to the business and they don't miss things. They let you go to the next level. To use my love and light to be in service of others and that's part of healing, right? Where as my elbow is connecting to that skin, you know, I'm delivering my frequency to the person that's seeking that work, you know, because I will always have that love and light inside me. And a New World practitioner understands that you can't give what you're not. So until you understand that unconditional love and care for oneself is what you need to become so that you can give that to your patients, don't expect a different outcome than every other practitioner out there. And that's what we teach here because you need to become what you want to see in all of your patients.